Claude has just released their new projects feature, and this is an absolute game changer. You have the ability to create these projects, upload internal knowledge, generate custom instructions for that chat thread, invite your team members, collaborate, and this just helps not only organization, but also it helps Claude solve your problems much better than before. So pro and team users can now organize their chats into projects, bringing together curated sets of knowledge and chat activity into one place. Each project includes a 200,000 context window, which is equivalent to a 500-page book. Projects allow you to ground Claude's outputs into your internal knowledge, and here it gives some examples. It says be it style guides, code bases, interview transcripts, or past work. Adding this new project knowledge allows Claude to provide expert assistance across tasks because it has all of that new information about the problem you're dealing with. In addition, you have the ability now to define custom instructions for each project. Now, this has been something that ChatGPT has had for a long time, and the fact that Claude is now putting it in is just an absolute game changer because with the release of Claude 3.5 Sonnet, I can imagine that there's a lot of you wishing you had these custom instructions. And if you aren't currently understanding what custom instructions are, I'm going to explain everything in a second. But that's not all because you can also invite team members to your project and team members can share snapshots of their best conversations with Claude into your team shared project activity feed. So it's almost like a social media for Claude. Users can share their chats that they had going over specific things and conversations they had with Claude and this will help give the team a better idea of what each individual member could be working on. Now for those of you who don't know me my name is Drake Sirach the owner of this AI Foundations YouTube channel and the owner of the AI Foundations community. Now my brother slash partner and I ended up building this AI Foundations community with the intent to have it be everyone's final stop for artificial intelligence, whether you want AI news, courses, live group calls, a community to chat about AI with all day long, then that's what this community offers. It has everything all in one for AI. Now, if you are interested in joining this community, I'll leave a link in the description or the top pinned comment. But here we have the community section where you can chat all day about AI news or just about anything in general. We have a classroom section with multiple different courses for mastering artificial intelligence, large language models, AI image generation, AI automations. And we have so many more courses in the works so that you can become an expert within your industry using artificial intelligence. And we have a bunch of different live calls here that we do once or twice a week with the entire group. So if you want to join, I'll leave a link in the description or the top pinned comment. Now these live calls are crucial for what I'm about to show you next with Claude, because with each live call comes a video transcript for everything that was talked about in that call. And I want to create a project in Claude so I can analyze those transcripts from the calls that we have and see, okay, did this call follow the expectations that we have for the calls? Did we complete all the goals? I want to analyze the call transcripts in order to gain a better understanding of if we accomplished everything we needed to throughout that call to make sure that we're staying efficient, helping people and solving problems. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you how to create a project in Claude and I'm going to use transcripts for examples as internal knowledge. So let's get right into it. Now, I like to think of these projects as folders and these can be folders for huge goals, right? For big long-term year long goals and you can complete tasks within each one of those chat threads of the project. Or you can just have this be for a smaller task where you only need to upload a little bit of internal knowledge. You don't really need to collaborate and so on. So you can either hit use a project here and see all of your different projects. You can search for a project here on your home screen or you can just hover over Claude in the upper left hand corner. I'm going to pin my sidebar for now so you can better see this. And then you can select this projects button. And when you're taken to this project screen, you're going to notice this looks a lot like ChatGPT's GPT screen. In order to create a project, hit that orange button in the upper right hand corner. And now it's going to prompt you to type in a name of your project and a goal of what you are trying to achieve for this project. So I want this to just be a database, not necessarily one project, but Every time that our group goes live and we have a call after I want to be able to upload the transcript to this project file in the new chat thread, get the call analyzed and see if we were on track for the goals that we have set out for an AI automations call series that we're working on. So I'm just going to name this project automations live call analysis. That way I know that this is just for the automation live calls because we have a five part automation series that we're doing in the group in July. So I want to make sure that we're staying on track through each one of these calls and we're lining up with the goals that we have set out for them. So I can just tell Claude in the what are you trying to achieve section exactly what I just told you. So I said, I want to make sure we are on track to meet all the overall goals of calls via transcript uploading. And then I can just add a little bit more context for 
our AI automations. And then I can just hit create project. And now you're prompted with this beautiful screen where you're going to have your normal prompt box over here on the left where you can add content for context. You can upload a prompt. You can really just chat with it here. But this chat is going to be affected by the project knowledge section. So Claude is going to be taking into account everything that you have over here, whether, whether it's PDFs, documents, these new custom instructions here, which I'm going to show you how to create, or even just text content. They allow you to give your text content a title and allow you to paste in some descriptions right here. So anytime you ask a question, anytime you make a statement, anytime you upload something, Claude is going to be taking in this project knowledge into account. And remember, you have a 200,000 context window for this project's knowledge. You can upload loads and loads of information before you ever run out of space, equivalent to a 500 page book. So let's first add some content. Now, what I wanna add is this PDF I have, Community Live Call Goals for AI Automations. Like I said, within the community right now, we have this five-part series. We've already done call one of five, but we have this five-part series on creating cool automations using artificial intelligence. So we have these different calls that aren't just our live Q&As that we have every week where we go over AI automations. And I wanna make sure we're staying on track with actually helping people in these calls. So I created a goals PDF for that call to make sure that when Claude is analyzing these transcripts, it's taking in my goals for the call and it's seeing and ranking the transcript based on these four goals that I have for the calls. So active community member involvement, deep learning and understanding of automations, building deeper relationships, solving problems, you know, actually solving problems. So this is going to be kind of a cool thing to upload. It's a really good resource for Claude to reference. And I'm not going to have to type this into the prompt bar every time I upload a call transcript. It will just know because once I hit upload from device and I actually upload this PDF that I downloaded from Google Docs, now it's in this project knowledge. It knows all my goals for the call. And that entire PDF only took up 1% of my knowledge size. So I could upload equivalent to 100 more of those. So you can see how powerful and how much space this project knowledge actually has. So just to show you an example of how it actually uses this project knowledge, I can ask, what are my goals for live calls for AI automations? And before uploading this, it would have not a clue what I'm talking about. But since I've uploaded this project knowledge, it can now reference that information and use it. So when I send it off, Claude is going to respond based on the goals I have in that PDF. So just like I have in the PDF, it says active community member involvement, deep learning and understanding, building deeper relationships and solving problems, right? And it wouldn't have known my four goals had I not uploaded that PDF. So when you ever want to navigate back to your project folder where everything is stored, just hit the breadcrumbs in the upper center of your screen and it will take you back. And this is the beautiful thing about this. You can start multiple chat threads in here. So I could go off in a completely new topic about what I want to talk about regarding this project here. Now, this would pretty much be ready to go. I could just ask Claude to analyze the transcript from the live call that we held. You know, I could upload those captions. And keep in mind, these captions are 5,000 lines long. And this is just call number one of a five-part series. So this has every conversation we had of the call. But reading through all those, grading it myself, seeing if I'm on track is very, very difficult. So I could save a lot of time by just uploading this and asking it. Give me three main points from the call. I could ask it questions about this and it's going to be taking in my live goals, especially if I say, was I on track for my live goals? Now keep in mind, these are questions that I have to keep on typing out. They're things that maybe I have a certain set of questions in a certain output format that I want Claude to respond in every time. Well, that's where custom instructions are going to come in a little bit later, right? It's going to save you time setting up instructions in the back end for how you want Claude to output your response, right? Whether you want goals first, a grading scale second, suggestions third for what to do for next call, things we missed. You could go really in depth on those custom instructions. So you don't have to type in long prompts every time. And all you have to do is upload your captions and you're good to go. Now, keep in mind, this is just an example of how I want to use Claude projects. I also used it to build a website and uploaded my branding guide to this project knowledge. There is a plethora of different options out there. It just really depends on your personal use case and your professional use cases. I can send this off though, and it's going to be taking in my goals. It's going to be taking in all of my project knowledge, which the only thing I have in there right now is my goals. And it's going to take a look at all of this call transcript. 
And it's literally giving me a step-by-step -step list of the main points in the call, and it's scary how accurate this is. And it even knows my name. It says Drake outlined a five-part series on automations with future calls focusing on topics such as automation triggers, and it goes into what we have available for those calls. It says, regarding your live call goals, you appear to be on track. It says there was a substantial participation from community members, with many asking questions, sharing experiences, and engaging in discussions, deep learning and understanding. This call provided an overview of automations and set the stage for more in-depth learning, building deeper relationships. And it keeps on going through my goal list. And it's like, okay, I'm comparing the transcript to this goal list. Are Drake and Carter accomplishing everything they want to on this call? Now let's actually dive into the custom instruction side of things because custom instructions are absolutely a game changer for Claude because you have the ability to structure a tailored output. You can give Claude a system function or a role to act like, and it will take on that role and be a professional in pretty much any field. And custom instructions really just allow you to save so much time when prompting because you can provide the context, provide the output format, and provide everything in those custom instructions. So you don't have to spend your time prompting. And in my case, all I'll have to do is come to this project file, upload my transcript, and it will do everything for me because I set up how I want them analyzed in the custom instructions. Let me get into that now so you understand a little bit more what I'm talking about because that might sound confusing. So first what I'm going to do is hit set custom instructions. And then here I can just give how should Claude respond. You can do things like tone, writing style, give it a system role, custom output formats, and so on. Now I have a set structure that I usually use for custom instructions when I'm creating GPTs on ChatGPT or just using custom instructions in general. And that's actually found in the AI Foundations community, funny enough, within the large language model mastery and assigning roles. You know, this is a persona system that I've developed that helps create good custom instructions. So all I'm going to do is just use my AI Foundations community for the resources that I need in order to create a successful set of custom instructions. Now we will not need the confirmation of understanding so I'm just going to grab this and head back over to Claude and paste it in. Now I can just fill out everything I need here. So I need to create a profession or a role for Claude here. I need to define the primary objective. I need to list a tone, you know, personality traits, communication style, is it casual, is it formal? Output format, this is where things start to get very interesting. You can have a tailored output format for how you want your response structured. Do you want an overview first, how long do you want the overview? Do you want the overview being two sentences, five sentences? Then next, maybe you want a grading scale of how you did on each one of your points within your goal objectives. You can go super custom with this, hence the word custom instructions. You even have the ability for special formatting instructions, whether you want words bolded, you want headings, you want subheadings. Uh, you can really go in depth with this. And then the interaction closure, how we want the chatbot to actually ask us more follow-up questions to spark more conversation. Now these can be changed, but I just like using this because I have a set way of doing things that I know works not only for me, but for everyone else in the community and everyone else who's used my personas in the past. So I'm just going to get into filling all this out. Profession or role? I just said you are a professional transcript analyst, kind of creating my own profession here. I say you analyze transcripts from live calls and provide insights from what took place. Now this is a proven prompting technique called adding system functions or system roles. And you're essentially giving the chatbot a profession to fill the shoes of. Objective, I'll get into that next. So I just list very, very niche ideas into what the objective of this custom instructions persona is. Your goal is to analyze transcripts from the AI Foundations community and make sure the calls are moving in the right direction. These transcripts are taken from live calls about AI automations. I'll move on to the next one, personality traits. So then I keep going. For personality traits, I put you are professional and concise. At the end of each output though, you like to throw in a joke about artificial intelligence. Communication style, I kind of covered that in personality traits. I'll just delete that. And here's where we wanna start paying attention. We need to list the specific output formatting we'd like. So this section we don't need to change because this is telling Claude to use this specific output output formatting. And right here is where we need to put that in. So I just completed my output format. You know, I just kind of list the structure I want the information presented to me when Claude has its output. I've said at the beginning, two sentence overview of what this call was about. Then I said grading scale, provide a score of one to 10 of how well we performed regarding each one of our goals. Make sure to cite specific conversations from this transcript that I'm going to upload so I can see why you gave the scores you did for each goal. Lastly, I put suggestions for improvement. List one to three suggestions for how we can improve the next call to align with our goals. For special formatting instructions, I don't really care about any bolding headings right now, so I'm just going to delete all that. And then for interaction closure, how do I want Claude to end its response? You can get funny with this and have it say funny things. You can have it 
ask you follow-up questions to keep the conversation going for that deep learning and retention, but I'm just going to have it interact and close with an AI joke. And just like that, I have these custom instructions all created in less than two minutes, and it's going to dramatically save me time because I'm not going to have to type in all of this stuff every single time I want to send off a prompt in Claude. Once I hit save instructions, it now knows its profession. It now knows what it's supposed to do. And all I have to do now is come to this project folder and upload my transcript. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to hit add content beneath this prompt bar. And then I'm going to upload auto-generated captions from that live Zoom call we had with the group, just like before. I don't even need a prompt. Now that I set up the custom instructions in that specific output format that I want for each time I upload captions, then Claude will do the rest. All I have to do is upload my captions and send it off. No prompt needed. I set up all the instructions in the back end so I can have a cleaner and more user-friendly front end experience. As you can see, it follows my exact output format. It says, here's a two sentence overview and analysis of the community live call. It gives me that nice two sentence overview, just like I asked within the custom instructions. It then goes into my grading scale and gives me scores out of 10 and cites information and lines from the call that attribute to that score that it gave me. It says active community member involvement, nine out of 10. Call had very high engagement. For example, Simon shared an idea for automating patient follow-up for his dental practice, sparking an extended discussion on implementation. So those are kind of the things we do. We always end up going down these rabbit holes on those live calls. And then it gives suggestions for improvements. Consider breaking up longer presentations with more frequent pauses for Q&A to maintain high engagement. Provide a brief recap at the end summarizing key takeaways and create a shared document or forum thread for participants to continue discussing ideas. And then not only that, but it also ends out with our AI joke. Why don't robots ever feel guilty? Because they have a clear conscience. I'm not sure if I understand that one. Let me know in the comments if you get that AI joke, but look at this. It followed each one of my instructions. So now I have a system in place for my project. All I have to do is upload the captions from the call and I'm good to go. I could even copy and paste this into a document so I have all those responses ready to go. But then again, I have this chat thread with all of my past chats in here with the actual transcripts. So this works out great. And think about how powerful this is. And I've only used 1% of my knowledge size. I've barely added anything to this. So I encourage you to not only dive into the projects file, but see and test out different workflows that you can use to make your life more efficient. Now, again, if you wanna join a community of AI lovers, AI enthusiasts, learn everything about AI, stay informed with all the news and all of that good stuff, I highly recommend joining the AI Foundations community. We are growing and as we grow, we become much more powerful. I've learned more in there in the past month than I have in a year of studying artificial intelligence alone. It's just an amazing environment, amazing people to be around. So again, I'll leave that in the link in the description or the top pinned comment. But with that being said, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you can take on Claude projects in a more efficient way now. Hope I helped you gain a full understanding of what they're about and how I'm going to be using them. All right, subscribe to the channel and like this video if you did enjoy. I will see you in the next video.